Hello, welcome again to Reach for the Top. I'm Les Studley, your host on the program, and we are in our first semifinal game in Flight One. As a matter of fact, the only semifinal game in Flight One. The winner of today's game goes on to meet Quinn Elizabeth High in the championship next week. And the teams are from St. Pat's in Halifax and Prince Andrew of Dartmouth. And let's meet first of all the team from Prince Andrew. David Salome is a grade 12 student. He's interested in dentistry next year at Dalhousie. Tommy Lee, another grade 12 student interested in science for Tommy Delhousie next year. Jeff Sullivan, grade 12 student interested in physics and he's going to join Tommy at Dell next year. Paul Kimball, another grade 12 student interested in history and someday he says he's going to be a lawyer. Paul Kimball, the team from <coughs> Prince Andrew. Now let's meet the team from St. Pat's of Halifax, beginning with Mark Grantham, grade 12 student, interested in art, and he plans to go to Dalhousie next year to study art. Sean Smith is a grade 12 student, interested in sports. Next year he says he's going to study journalism. Fred Calavacchio is a grade 12 student, interested in sports, and next year it's St. Mary's for Fred and Commerce. And Sean Gation is a grade 12 student. He's interested in computers. His future, he says, is undecided. Lay bets, though, it'll be in computers. The team from St. Pat's. <laughs> they're previous winners, and they're ready to go, and so is the quiz master. Here he is, Jerry Fogarty. Thank you very much, Les Doodley. Thank you, and hello once again. We are all set to go with the semifinal playoff game. The winner here will be back in one week to play Queen Elizabeth High of, of Halifax for the flight championship. And our judges are Mr. Gerald McCarthy and Mr. Gerald Mosier. Their decisions are final. Are you ready to go, teams, with a question on textiles and fabrics? What name is given to a knitted woolen jacket or sweater? Want to try this, Paul? Tweed? No, named after a 19th century earl. What's it uh, called? We call it what, uh, Mark? Cardigan. Cardigan, yes, you have it. What name is given to a woolen cloth with a rough surface, usually woven of yarns of two or more colors? What's that name we want, Paul? Plaid? No, over to the other team against St. Pat's for you. Anybody there, Sean? Tweed. Tweed, right on this one. A heavy, coarse cotton cloth with a diagonal weave used for work pants and sports clothes. That's yours, Tommy. Denim. That is denim. Right you are for Tommy Lee or Prince Andrew in that final part. Now then, the scramble question. You know that if you get the correct answer to the scramble, second parts are for your team. Which Austrian composer who worked in the romantic, romantic idiom? You want to try it here, Paul? Mozart. No, died in 1828 at the age of 31. The Austrian composer is St. Pat's. Who will give an answer here? Sean. Strauss. Franz Schubert is the correct answer. So then we'll go to an open question all about the, the life, the career of Schubert and his works. Schubert's two movements, Symphony No. 8 and B minor, is a great favorite of music lovers. Want to try, Paul? Unfinished Symphony? You have it, the Unfinished Symphony. Schubert spent his entire life as a resident of what city? Yes, Paul. Vienna. Vienna, right on that one. In his early piano sonatas, Schubert worked to free himself of the influence of which German composer, Paul? Beethoven. Beethoven is right. Final part for anyone. Beethoven is one of three immortal giants of music, all of whom, want to try, Paul? Mozart and Haydn. Yes, the two of them. You have Mozart and Haydn, both names. Very good. For Paul and Prince Andrew on the, uh, that question. Now, then, let's continue. Uh, we want you to identify the decade in which each of the following songs was a big hit. We want the decade. Ready for the first one, then? And what decade was this one a big hit? Listen. And it's too late. Give it a try, Mark. 70s. The 70s, right you are. It's too late. A Carol King, popular in the 70s. Again, the decade when this was a popular hit song. That's yours, Paul. The 50s? The 50s. For Rock Around the Clock, the 50s. Bill Haley. And the comments. Let's go on to the next one. Again, it's the decade we want here for this hit song. That's yours, Paul. The 40s. The 40s, yes. Chattanooga Choo Choo, Glenn Miller, from the 1940s. We'll have the last one ready for you again. It's the decade that we want. When is this popular? Paul. The 60s. The 60s, right, from Mrs. Robinson, from The Graduate, from the 1960s. 